Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it has been so long since I did a battery video and I used to do those all the time so I better do a battery update for you guys so that you can see how long this takes sometimes back I got a lot of batteries or actually I bought them about 350 cells I think I remember that it was and they're right over here and I'm still working on those and it's like you take a battery and you take it apart and you charge every cell up and you discharge every cell and you write a little label on it and says how much capacity this battery holds. And then I, well I have, I have some laying here on the table right there. They haven't been sorted yet. And then they go over here. I have some banks down here, different sizes. Where are we? There, different sizes. And I have a couple up here and that's because they have different capacity in them and I don't want to mix up the capacity too much. So if this one has, this one has just over 2 amp hours in it and this one has like 1544 milliamp hours, would that be 2004 milliamp hours and 1544. And it's not a good thing to to mix them up because the, the small battery will be depleted first and you won't get the power out of the big battery. Every time it will just be the small battery that sets the lower level and it, well you run out of power before you really need to. So by having all the batteries equal I get the most usage out of them. So let's go to the table and see what's up. So actually these three new or three batteries they're new. That's not from the stash that I bought. These my little brother came and gave me yesterday and said, you ask for batteries. Yes, I did. That was like four months ago. Well, now he found some batteries for me. And I've seen multiple ways of opening these. I've just found that kind of just twisting them a little bit. And just opening like that works just fine well not everybody can do that we are Vikings here so that's nice let's take another one I don't know what this oh the, the <laughs> this is a Lenovo battery and this is a Lenovo battery oh, very nice yeah. twist that one too Well, not all of the batteries are this easy, but it's often a lot faster than all the other stuff. So, two batteries out. Um, I did this yesterday with these blue ones. That was another cell. And for the first time, I really experienced batteries that got really hot when I tried to charge them. I charged them over here. I have two battery chargers up here. Let's go over there. These are just two rather cheap battery chargers that I bought. I think they were like $6 each. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. But they do, they're doing really well. They're like 1.2 amp uh, chargers. So if you put in four batteries, they will each get about 300 milliamps of charge. And that's usually okay. But yesterday I put in these blue guys. This one seems to be okay. Let's try to take that one out and measure it together with the other ones. Here we have the blue battery. Oh, and then you can't see the meter. We have to bring that down. Get the plastic out of the way. Stash of old electronics. Meter there. Yes, it's in view, kind of. Cool. Power on. Let me show this one, see if that became good. 4.1, that's okay, right? Let's, let's check these. 
They became so hot yesterday that I was down here checking on them before I went to bed and I really did not want them to be charging while I was sleeping. So I took them off the charger. This one is 0 0.2. That's not very good. Also 0 0.2. Even lower. 0 0.6, that's probably okay. 0 0.7, that's probably okay. These two, well, I can probably save those. I'm gonna put those in the charger and give them a mild charge just beside one of the other ones too. Let's wait for that. Then we had these four, the not very good ones. So we're gonna put those in a battery box. And I'm gonna be putting all the leads together. So I removed the insulation a bit more on each of the wires. I'm just gonna twist them around a bit. Put together as a big stack. I'm gonna put on one of these clamps. I've noticed they're not very common all over the world, but we use them a lot here. So I have those laying around. I've seen that in the United States, you have something that you twist around the wires. Uh, I don't think we have that here. Cool. And I got a couple of my new alligator leads, test leads here that I just got home from China. We're gonna test those out. And we're gonna put some voltage on this dude. Uh, first we're gonna make sure I have the power supply just outside of view here. I'm gonna make sure that that I'm not sending in a lot of current. So we're gonna short circuit those and I'm gonna turn it down to about 100 milliamps. That's around there. And we're gonna give it two volts. Just gonna start with two volts. And let's just put the minus to minus and the plus to plus. And nothing is happening right now. It's not drawing anything, but it probably will in a little bit. It's actually at three point something volts. That's weird. Didn't I just... Okay, the battery says that they're at three points. That's... That's odd. So I'm gonna turn it up to four volts. Now they're drawing a little bit. Not enough for this to blow up. So I'll keep it there for a little bit. So what I'm still doing is I've charged up this battery in the white charger over there. So this is fully charged. I put it in this IMAX B6 and I discharge it and I do that. Let's just do that. I have a little screwdriver because it's very hard to get the batteries out of here. So I kind of help it just a little bit like that. This one is done. It's discharged and I've already written on it that this battery holds 1.444 milliamp hours. And I discharged them with 1.4 amp hours. And I was told that that's way too much. You're only supposed to discharge batteries like this with 400 milliamp hours. And I thought, whoa, sometimes these batteries, they take two hours to discharge. And uh, well, it was written in the comments that I should, I should discharge them with 400 milliamp hours and I should set the timer to five hours. And I did the calculations and with, with the batteries that I have right now, and me only being here in the weekends, it would take me, I think it was just over two months to do the batteries that I have. If I did it with like every battery taking five hours, I think it was about two years this would take me. I'm not sure how that calculations ended up, but I do remember it was two years. It might be more than two months, yeah. If I damage the batteries, well, at least I'll do it while I'm young. So I just put the battery in there like that. And we go back here and we discharge lithium polymer or something with 1.4 amps three, down to three volts. So I press start. It checks the battery. Is there a battery in there? There's a battery in there and I press start. 
and it pulls the power out of the battery. And this one I have to put back on the charger because it's depleted. I must admit that this project is taking way longer than I had anticipated, but well, it's just, it's, it's still interesting. And I do like reusing the batteries, Oops. even when they fall over the place. And there's a lot of good ways to take these batteries apart, but I have found that just twisting them and making them weak and just, just pulling them apart as good as you can, well, that often saves you a lot of time. Vikings! Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel and give me a like down there. I like that. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Thank you.